$20,000. A record month for a local surgeon adds to the reports that joint replacement is actually becoming an epidemic in this country. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live at Party Hospital taking a look at boomeritis. Vic? Yeah, I'm right here in the OR where they're going to be having a patient come in here in just a few hours to have a knee or hip replacement. And Dr. Amal Das has been doing these, and he says he averages about one a day, seven a week. And we're, you really are seeing a boom in this. It's become known as boomeritis, and it's just a matter of people using our joints. We're walking, we're running, we're active. Hey, people these days, when they get old, they don't sit in that rocking chair. They're out, they're hiking, they're doing the things that they want to do, they're golfing, they're having fun, mm -hmm. and they wear out their joints. So we've been talking about this, about the cartilage and getting things replaced. You're actually going to show us what this time? I'm going to teach you how to read x-rays. Really? Yeah. All right. It's, we'll really, it's really not that hard. Okay. So here's a typical knee, and there is cartilage that covers the end of the bone here mm -hmm. and the end of the bone here. Here is a drawing of a knee with no cartilage, with just bone on bone. Now, let's look at an x-ray. Okay. Here we see two knees. This L stands for left. This is the left knee. This is the right knee. Victoria, can you tell me without having learned anything, which of the knees is arthritic? I think it's the right knee. So you think it's this one bone. because yeah. the bones are touching. And that's exactly right. In a normal knee, you can see a space between the two bones. Now you can't see cartilage on x-ray, but you can see the space in which it lies. So the left knee looks good, the right knee looks not so good. So Victoria, uh -huh. how do you want to treat that? Well, it looks like we need to help this person. Does that person need a full knee to be replaced? Well, that, that's a good question. This particular one got a total knee replacement where we put a cap over the upper bone and a metal cap on the lower bone and a plastic bearing in between the two. So there's a typical knee joint replacement. And with the technology that's out there now, these re the recovery time is better. But let's talk about, for those of us who aren't at the baby boomer age yet, and we want to make sure that, no offense, Doc, we don't have to see you. I don't blame what you. What can we do to protect our joints? You said there's some things. Well, there's about three things, three important things. First of all, keep your weight down. Okay. Second of all, Avoid a job that requires repetitive stooping or bending, like being a plumber or, okay. or trauma, like perhaps being a football player and playing in the Super Bowl last night. <laughs> and then there's controversial, but perhaps taking some nutritional supplements such as glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate may slow down the loss of cartilage and help put off having to have a joint replacement. All right, and as we're watching this go, science and technology is leading to greater innovations for us. If you do need to come see Dr. Doss and, and have a joint replacement, but we have more information, I'll link you to his website so you can find out what's going on as you uh, are looking into the possibility of protecting your joints as well. Reporting live in Hendersonville, Victoria, Dunkel News 13.